That is a big, big hit. Instant impact. And he's celebrating his unique style. A monumental blow. And look at what it means to them. It's game 19 of the CG United Super 50 Cup and we're back at the Brian Lara Cricket Academy here in Trinidad for the Jamaica Scorpions against the Windward Islands Volcanoes. Edge straight to Ambris and first slip. It's the perfect start for the Volcanoes in terms of wickets. The inform Chadwick Walton has to depart. Really well bowled from Lewis. Something that the skipper would really love. A little bit of discussion in the middle there. It's a little bit of check for no ball. He's fine. He's fine. Well bowled. First wicket. For the Windward Islands Volcanoes, Chadwick Walton. Could get a bit closer to that one early in his innings. As I mentioned, he uses hands a lot. Chad Killer has gone without scoring. The score is not five for one. Punch grips crisply and we'll go for four. Really well played here by Blackwood just giving himself a little bit room to access that offside. That's a sharp catch. Good response on follow through. Sherman Lewis proving his worth with the ball. Wasn't that effective early on, but effective now, and they desperately need it. Andrew Fletcher must be happy. Looking down the barrel of a first bat bowling point here for the Volcanoes. Sherman Lewis brought about that change into the Volcano setup. Kurt McKenzie's gone. He's gone for three. Score is now 17 for two. Caressed sweetly through cover point. And that's for. And Kruma Bonner will take a lot of confidence from that stroke. Darrell Cyrus is quick, but he's not quick enough. Good shot there. Really well played. That's something that you'll expect from, from Bonner. Really well played. Just caress, just in front of point. That is very disappointing for Blackwood, but jubilation for Sherman Lewis, who's got his third. He can't believe it's rolled onto the stumps. Yeah, quite unlucky for Jermaine Blackwood. Got himself in a bit of a tangle here, just trying to turn the ball to fine leg. Seemed to come off the toy pad and trickled onto the stumps. A third wicket for Sherman Lewis. Back into this team after the first game. He missed a few games after. He's gotten a brilliant start for the Windward Island Volcanoes. Jerry Blackwood has to go 22 for three. On top of the box, a first boundary for Captain Powell. And it's the first real loose delivery we've seen from Sherman Lewis. Today, short and wide, just stood up and asked to be hit. But from Powell, can plays easily. He will be happy to get a boundary. Put down. That is massive. And again, Powell trying to take on mid off. That was the chance. They've missed it. Yeah, very disappointing for the Wayward Island Volcanoes. They set a plan, executed it down to this. He just had to hold on, Denver. It was a pretty simple chance, and it's the big wicket of Ramon Powell. 
Leg slip again. Leg spin again. And it's Daryl Cyrus getting the big wicket of Captain Robman Power. The drop doesn't cost the Volcanoes too much. He continues to struggle against ball spinning away from him. Rob Powell, he's just not getting into the best positions, and it's an easy catch for Andre Fletcher. First wicket for Daryl Cyrus today. Rob Powell has to go for just 13 runs. Jamaica 48 for four. Possibly, possibly a half chance there. Did go quite fast and low. Would have been a good catch. It was low to his stronger side as well. His left side just couldn't hold on. Lofted on purpose by Bonner. That's graceful. He didn't try to overhit there at all, did he? Just made sure he cleared the man at extra cover. Good timing. And that's the hallmark of Nkuma Bonner. He's not a power hitter, times the ball very well. Picked his spot, and that's a welcome boundary for the Scorpions. Springer was on the boundary, but unable to get to it. A much needed boundary. Powerful strike from the young man. Heading across the line, thinking that that's uh, a good option. The execution was well, but Cyrus will know that it's a high-risk stroke, so he wouldn't mind conceding a boundary on this occasion. This could be the opportunity. Tried a slog sweep, went for six, tried it again. Cyrus has the final laugh. Case of lack of cricket intelligence on that occasion. Taking that high risk option, going across the line, playing against the turn, and paying the ultimate price. Cyrus, all credit to him, got around in time, got in that drop zone, and completes slightly challenging catch. Another start without substance. 84 for five. Just short of slip. Cyrus has bowled well. He's been impressive today. 91 for five. Gotcha. That's straight. A much needed boundary, much needed maximum. First in 30 deliveries. Yeah, 100 comes up for the Scorpions. A landmark of note. Gotcha. I did say Parnell hasn't really set the scene on fire with his batting ah! oh that's very close surely ah! not out Larry Edward cannot believe that wondering what I could be missing yeah. Oh, you must be disappointed as a bowler. Oh, that's turned. That's lucky. Turning into the right hander, cramped him up. Could have easily chopped on. Good bit of purchase there for Kenneth Demba. Is that going to carry to long off? It does. Comfortable catch for Sherman Lewis coming in low. Shannon Parnell's patience has worn thin. Really well done by Kenneth Demba. The skipper, Andre Fletcher, just moved Sherman Lewis a bit. Make him look like Captain Genius. Shalom Parnell, he's gone for 13. The score is now 107 for six.
50 for Nkrumah Bonner. 13th in List A cricket for him to go with 400. He's third against the Windward Islands as well. He's been watchful. He's not feeling 100% either. Physio's come out a couple of times. You can see there by his body language, maybe a bit of illness or something like that. But he's fought hard for his team today when others around him are falling, particularly other experienced top-order batters. He stayed there. Was it stumped? Is it going to be a wicket? The batter is already walking. Square leg will search for assistance from the TV umpire, Carl Tuckett. A partnership that was looking promising, 17 so far. Might just be broken with this delivery. I'm just checking to see if it's a legal delivery. First of all, it's half and half. So it is a legal delivery. Let's see if Royal was still out of the crease. Advance. And he's unable to get back. It seems. Very quick piece of work behind the stumps by Johnson Charles, who hasn't had the best of days so far. Especially to the leg spinner. And there's the decision out. Javier Royal has to go for just nine runs. Scorpions in further trouble. They lose their seventh at 124. Got him, got him, got him. Well, this is trouble. Danger. This was expected because we've seen on numerous occasions before these two have had their issues communicating. Odin Smith is furious. Yeah, it's a poor bit of communication once more by these two. Odin Smith was pushing from the inception and he jogged back thinking it was an easy two. And the criminal bonner was never coming back for that second. Odin Smith furious, but he has to go for just eight runs, Smith. Scorpions lose another one for 142. Glorious from Bono. No worries, no worries, no worries, Moving on in Stati at the crease. He's now moved to 62, his fourth boundary. Andrew Fletcher for the first time with the ball, and he concedes four. That boundary brings up the 150 for the Scorpions. Andre Fletcher greeted with a boundary. Bonner continues to pepper that extra cover region. Gone for the big shot. Did he get hold of it? No. Catch taken on the boundary line. The captain taking things into his own hands, getting the prize wicket of Fabian Allen. And big smiles all around for the Volcanoes. Timmy Allen continues to struggle in this tournament. Back into the Jamaican Scorpion side, and he cannot make an impact with back. Goes against the turn, and he's only able to find the fielder at long off. A little celebration, a dance from the Spice Man, and he gets a wicket in his first over for the tournament. Look at that. I don't know what you call that, but it's an exaggerated <laughs> celebration. Timmy Allen goes for just three runs. 153 for nine. Could it be a second for Fletcher? It is. Andre Fletcher, what a masterful move. The dancing boots are on. The innings is over. And it's Nkrumah Bonner who's provided all the fight. Captain Cool. Another two wickets against Jamaica. Distance kicked out Sherman Lewis and look at the celebration. 
He's a happy man, Andre Fletcher, the skipper. And that's the end of the Jamaica Scorpions innings. 157 all out in 42.2 overs. Good, good knock from Nkuma Bono. But is it going to be enough to stop the Windward Islands Volcanoes in the chase? Andre Fletcher, who's led his team with a couple of wickets, he will be very proud of his men. Picked up a lot of bonus points in that innings, which can help in qualification. Bono, the only man to go past 15. Everyone else, disappointment. Really went downhill from the beginning of the innings when they lost three in that first power play. Bit of resistance in the middle, but the runouts of Smith and even few interesting dismissals won't help their cause. A lot of reflection needed. Just 157 on the board. Very impressive bowling. Sherman Lewis started the rut, picked up three quick wickets in his only spell of four overs. Cyrus was very impressive as well. He also got three. Captain Andre Fletcher too. He's going to give me some talks, Nikhil, I can tell you. Once more, the score, five without loss. Those five penalty runs. Make that nine without loss. Pushed down the leg side by Sheldon Cottrell. The windward's up and running straight away, and so is Alec Athenace. Left and right hand combination opening up for the Volcanoes will put some further challenge on Cottrell to find his line. Short again, and that's just dismissed disdainfully by Alec Athenace. How easy was that? Very graceful from this left-hander who hails from Dominica. He is the pride and joy of that Natia Isle. Although he's starting against a left-hander. And he drags down straight away. This has not been a good start by the Jamaica opening bowlers. Just too short. And it's evidence of what they've suffered all season. They've struggled with the bat. Get it, get, it in, get it in right. Get it in right. And with the ball as well. Down the track. Gets it on the full. Not out the middle, but four. Belligerent. That's uh, Johnson Charles for you. Has a fair bit of form. Already two half centuries this season, so he's seeing it well. Timing the ball nicely. He shimmies. This one is out the middle. The response from Cotter was to go short, but Charles was waiting for it. How often have we seen this from openers this season? Trying to impose their style of play on the opening bowler. Cottrell lacking confidence. Missed the last game for the Scorpions, so not at his best and in full rhythm. So Johnson Charles is trying to ensure he stays in that state of mind. Well played. Just helped around the corner. All he had to do was beat short fine leg. He did that and it's run away for four. 40 without loss. Should be the first wicket, is the first wicket. Could that be the start for the Scorpions? Good change by Shalom Perno. Good change in length. Saw Johnson Charles advancing. He pulled the length back into the pitch and he also tucked him up. Didn't give him any room to free those arms. Johnson Charles only manages to glove the ball behind to Chawit Walton. He goes for 13. Volcanoes lose their first at 41. Misses length. Athenes accepts gleefully. Athenes also looking around to see if that was a way to no ball as well. Parnell choosing. 
to go perhaps for a Yorker there. Miss his length completely. It's easily pumped back over his head for a one box boundary. Oh, mix up, massive mix up. Yeah. <laughs> Gone. Exactly what the Volcanoes didn't need, and Chadwick Walton and his team are off. It's hard to understand exactly what Andrea Fletcher did. They're under no pressure to take singles like this. And the ball had not gone anywhere. Ricocheted off the hand of Royal initially. But really good skill and awareness by Royal. First sign of awareness by the Scorpions. And it results in Andrea Fletcher going for just one. 51 for two, the Volcanoes. Exquisite drive from Athenes. Change of length from Parnell. Gone fuller on this occasion. But that's meat and drink for Athenes, and he holds the pose. Beats Ralph Mopowell. Uh, catching extra cover all the way along the ground into the boundary. What class from the youngster. There was some movement, but again, prolific through the offside. He picks up another boundary to end the over. 10 from it, 65 for two. Yeah! It's a third. This game is far from over. The change of bowling works for skipper Brobman Powell. It's the first... Wicket to the all spinner, tossed up and luring Ali Atenez into a loose drive outside all stump. Takes the edge and he's caught easily. But the fielder at short third, he goes for another start. Volcanoes three don't know for 66. Pretty much the perfect way to get off the mark. And the perfect way to keep the opposition quiet. There was a lot of chirping at Kevin Hodge as well. This one was on the up, but he did have enough room to free his arms. Again, you cannot write off the Jamaica Scorpions just yet. It is pressure out there in the middle, pressure on the Volcanoes. And this is disappointing. The Volcano batters are just finding a way to let the Scorpions back in. They're just checking to see if that front foot stays behind the line. And it is a legal delivery. So Odin Smith into the attack. And it's only taken him four deliveries to get a wicket. And he gets that of Kevin Hodge. Going for the pull. Holding out to short me wicket. Four and out, Kevin Hodge. 71 for four, the Volcanoes. This one slapped through the offside by Sunil Ambrose. And it goes all the way. For an important boundary, he gets off the marks, Neil Ambrose. Will relieve some pressure. May have just missed his line. Plan is the ball short. He's got those two fielders deep on the onside, but that one won't really threaten Ambrose. That's much better. Picked the length of that delivery quite quickly, and Solazano latches on to it. That's exactly what he tried to do. The previous delivery didn't get a hold of it, but there was no mistake this time. Struck it and struck it well. Cut behind point, late enough.
100 comes up for the Volcanoes. Leaves them with just 58 runs required in this run chase. The run in between the wickets is not the best. Look at that. Pulled it back. It was safe. Went through the boundary warps. And both Ambrose and Solozan only got two runs. Unacceptable as far as I'm concerned. Gets it through. That's nice. Use of the feet to get onside, to access the ball offside. Fine stroke from Solizano. Hey. It was a good shot. Gave himself a bit of room. Played it very late. He knew exactly where he wanted to put it. And with no feeling in the deep. It was always going to be four. That's good cricket from Solizano. What is that? Big shot. It's going to be a catch at mid on. Yeah! Well taken by Odin Smith. So now, do Jamaica have hope back again? It leaves you to think, Matt, if the Winwards team is really aware of the situation and the position that they're in now. Sunil Ambris. He's gone for 15. The score is now 111 for five. That's beaten Rothman Powell. Might be two more if they run quickly here. Comfortable in the end. Hundred and twenty seven for five. Won't get to the boundary, but they've scored off every delivery in this over. Very critical in relieving pressure. Thank you. Get, 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 get. Run out chance, big yeah. shot. This will be close. And could we have another twist to the tail? They think they've got their man. I'll tell you what, if he's out, it will be the second run out of this innings. So it will mean the Scorpions have an additional yeah. bonus point. Hit straight to Jeremy Black with good throw, and he's well short, Jeremy Solazano. All of the hard work undone. The Scorpions are elated. has to depart and as you said it Shakira Salman a bonus point for the Scorpions for inflicting two runouts and Solozano if they get over the line he'll be a big part as to why but he's gone for 40 one through five for six get, 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 get. let's try to double ah! again no I think he's got there this time but we will have a look Maybe very optimistic, this appeal. Yeah, just panic continues to show in this volcano setup. They haven't been convincing with their running between the wicket. And that could have been much closer had it been a better throw from Blackwood. Very fortunate. Because there was a slip in place. Javor Royal may have just saved the boundary with his footwork. It's been over 11 overs since we've had a boundary here. Springer takes him on and executes brilliantly well. A first boundary in 79 deliveries. Boy, did they need that. What a relief by Springer here, boys. Oh, God. He's nailed that, Shamara Springer. And he had to <laughs> because there was a man waiting hey, at long off. Hey, he easily cleared Sheldon Cottrell. But it's a really yes. good shot. Good use of those long levers by Shamara Springer. Yes, yes, yes. Go! 
two is the call. Yeah, it's been that type of day. Chaotic with the running between the wickets from both teams. 150 comes up. 150 for six after 34 overs. Went for the big stroke. Tried to finish the game, but made no contact. He's still there, Springer. End of the 35th, 153 for six. And there it is. The celebrations will erupt for the Volcanoes because they've secured themselves their first win of the tournament. Four points for the win in this year's Super 50 Cup. It's been hard fought. At times, a little bit painstaking to watch in the run chase, but Rubman Paul again will suffer another defeat. It's their fifth consecutive loss this season. I think the, the bowlers did a very good job, but it just wasn't enough runs. They fought straight through. That is something that they didn't really show throughout the tournament. Today they show why they won last year because of their bowling. The bowling attack really stood out today and really fought hard for them. So the bottom of the table clash has resulted in the Volcanoes going on to win. They secure their first win in this year's tournament. Jamaica Scorpions still search.